gone without a trace. It's been nearly four years since a Fort Lauderdale man disappeared, and tonight his mother is making an emotional plea to help solve this mystery. Stephen McCrell was last seen at, at a Pompano Beach gas station in the early morning of July 30th, 2015. But where he went after that remains a mystery all these years later. CBS 4's Ted Scouten is live tonight in downtown Fort Lauderdale with details. Ted. Jim and Rudeme, that family obviously desperate for answers. It was four years ago tonight that that victim was here at Lucky's Tavern. He was here with his brother and a friend. A few hours after he left, though, he vanished. We were celebrating her first birthday, and that was the last time we, we took family pictures. And he, he adored that little girl. Stephen McCrell was a father to his daughter, Skylar, a son, a boyfriend, a brother, a man who had many people who loved him. Four years ago, he vanished. I uh, dream sometimes that uh, he's coming home. He's knocking at the door and I'm going to open the door and he's there. And, and I just hope those dreams will come through. I'm still looking for him. His mom drives around with the missing posters on her car, hoping someone will give her information. The last place he was seen was at this gas station at Sample and Dixie Highway in Pompano Beach in the early morning hours of July 30th of 2015. A little later, surveillance video captured him again. There was an apparent verbal altercation. Then he had a conversation with some people in the car, and those people, um, they left, and uh, my son threw a can toward, toward the car, so I guess that got them upset. Police say this is the passenger who was in that car. Surveillance video shows that same car take off after Stephen pulled out. His girlfriend, Alicia Carr, the woman he shared a child with, wants to know what happened next. Maybe he, they hit, they like ran him off the road and then he went into the lake or, I mean, I'm just, I'm so uncertain because there's so many different scenarios that I have thought about. Police have checked on that but found nothing. We searched almost 200 bodies of water in and around the Pompano Beach area uh, looking for any sign of McCrell or his vehicle. The family realizes the outlook is bleak but just wants to know for certain what happened. They probably murdered him because where is he? I forgive them. They have done that. I do for, I have forgiven them and I pray for their salvation. And then one day they will come to know Christ and they will one day they will step for their the truth of what happened here. And police want to talk to that guy you saw there in the surveillance video to see if he can shed any light onto any of this. If you have information that can help, give Broward Crime Stoppers a call. The number is 954-493-TIPS. Live in Fort Lauderdale, Ted Scout, CBS 4 News.